Welcome to my channel Artist Martining. Today we are going to start how to create and manage FTP user account in Webozo end user and admin panel. If this video is informative, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more updated. Let's start the lab. So I'm logging with the uh, Webozo end user control panel here under FTP you can manage and add FTP accounts if I click on manage FTP here you can add an FTP user or if I click on add FTP account you just directly go inside the FTP user account panel So at first I click the manage FTP account and add a FTP user. The same console will open for me. Login with uh, uh, U1. Provide the password. Again type the password. quota is unlimited and you can set also the quota over here the directory is www.u1 I just create the account you can change also the, that user that uh, FTP uh, root path just done I just go here and go to the manage FTP here you can see that e1 uh, underscore smartlab.com is uh, username it is created and you can also if you want you can also edit and save it you can change the password also over here now I just log in with the FTP account I am running the filezilla or winscp whatever you want I just type the FTP user account My username is u1 underscore smartlab.com u1 underscore smartlab.com provide the password and login maybe I provide a wrong IP address 22 e1 at the rate of sorry not at the rate underscore smartlab.com provide the password just login maybe I given there are wrong password I just reset the password once this is my password password has changed go to the portal manage FTP in the browser I type FTP colon double slash 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 22 e1 underscore smartlab.com provide password you 
yes it's logged in i can i think i can also get here whose name is 10.10.10.22 e1 underscore smartlab dot com password yes login i can uh, i can i can i can i can uh, paste here a file domain list okay so this is also can be view over here also i think so yes this is done and if i go to home and click on ftp accounts here you can see that uh, this one is login this is the process id and if i close this i think the connection is closed yes the connection is closed you can see that okay so if this video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date and if you have any comment regarding this please comment and we are uploading a very most popular kind of videos in my channel so please subscribe this channel and get more up to date thank you